hello let's review about flowchart let's see the first key term is an algorithm is a set of step-by-step -step instructions to describe a task or a process think about traffic lights do you think that there is an algorithm or instructions to be followed of course there is traffic lights are always controlled by a computer and are programmed to follow the same sequences over and over again. These sequences are called algorithms. Some traffic lights algorithms on busy roads are very complex, containing many steps. Others are much shorter and are easier to predict. Computer programs contain algorithms. Think about this. Smartphones are controlled by computers which have been programmed with algorithms, of course, to make them do useful things. Your phone will contain thousands of different algorithms. What other everyday electronic device might be controlled by algorithms? Washing machine, for example. Algorithm change, flow, the Hedgecock has made it safely across the road and is in need of a nice cup of tea. Flo needs your help. He, how she can make the perfect cup of tea or kupa. Write down a set of instructions that Flo could follow to make a lovely cup of tea. Use the title perfect kupa algorithm and I will see this. Perfect kupa algorithm. If your algorithm is your algorithm anything like this, put water in kettle and switch on. Put the bag in the copper mug. Wait for water to boil. Pour water into the cup or mug. Leave to stew. Add milk if wanted. Add sugar if wanted. Remove the bag from cup of mug. Steer well, serve and enjoy. Are these your steps? Flo says thank you for the lo lovely Koopa. However, she has another problem. Flo isn't very good at reading. She and she doesn't understand our algorithm. Flo does like pictures. Can we draw the perfect Koopa algorithm for her? The good news is that yes, we can. We can draw for her by using flowcharts. And now, remember, an algorithm is a set of step-by-step -step instructions to describe a task or a process. The key term for now is a flowchart is a visual method of describing algorithms. Think about this. So, putting this together, we could we could say that a flowchart is a visual method of describing a set of step-by-step -step instructions for a task or process. Let's see. Start, put water in kettle and switch on. Put tea bag in a copper mug. Wait for water to boil. Pour water into a cup or mug. Leave to stew. Add milk or sugar if wanted, remove tea bag from cup or mug, steer well, serve and enjoy, and then that's all. So, yeah, I can understand the algorithm now, she said. When drawing flowcharts, we need to remember the following. We always start at the top of the flowchart. When th we then work on way down to flowchart from the top to bottom one step at a time. The flowchart algorithm finishes at the bottom. We need to learn the, con the correct flowchart symbols. Remember, start is called terminator here, this button. We can see it as oval too. A rectangular box is called the process the arrows are called flow lines and this top terminator here is 
the end of our flowchart. Now, flowchart challenge one. Now that flow is refreshed after a lovely cup of tea, she, she is ready for the next adventure. Flo likes nothing better than go out at night in the dark looking for yummy snails to eat. She has to watch out of Sly the fox who likes nothing better than go out at night in the dark looking for yummy hedgehog to eat. Using the knowledge of Flo charts, help Flo to forage around the garden to find yummy worms while avoiding Sly the fox and his friends here i will post this your challenge is as follows help law to get from her starting position to go to her home Flo is here and home is here try to help her find as many yummy snails as possible avoid sly the fox and his friends at all costs costs do you see? You can avoid this and make Flo eat snails. You must draw a flowchart to, pla to plan this. Flowchart starts facing upwards. She can eat a snail here and then she can go home eating other snails and avoiding the fox. You can use any combination of the following flowchart instructions. Start, forward, two steps, turn left, turn right. These are the processes that you can use here. Try something like this. Forward, two steps. Turn right, forward, one step. Then turn left, here, forward, five steps. Then turn think about this when you have finished how many snails did you help flow manage to eat compare your flow chart with the persons next to you you are alone you have to uh, give me the flow chart and i will see it look at their flow chart did they get more snails than you? Which flowchart is longer? So we can discuss this in Edmodo if you want with comments. Here, think. How long was your flowchart? Can you think in a way to make it shorter? Here, create a new map garden for flow. Draw yummy snails and scary foxes. On any of these squares of your map when you have finished swap your your map with the persons next to you okay test your knowledge now here what is an algorithm a special type of computer program used by smartphone a set of step-by-step -step instructions to describe the task or process a strong and lightweight metal used to make aircraft. What is an algorithm? Is a step, a set of step-by-step -step instructions to describe the task or process. What is a flow chart? A chart for flow, the hedgehog, a method for making a great cup of tea, a visual method for describing algorithm. Which of this? is a visual method for describing algorithm what do we call this flowchart symbol turn left we call this terminator a process or a follow line we call this a process what do we call this flowchart symbol start process or a follow line terminator Let's bring it all together now. An algorithm is a set of step-by-step -step instructions to describe a task or a process. A flowchart is, is a visual method for describing algorithm. Think. So, putting this together, we could say that a flowchart is a visual method for describing a step-by-step -step 
instructions for a task or a process. Let's see about decision making now. Flo, the hedgehog, is very hungry. Using your knowledge of flowchart, put these instructions into the right order to help her make her recipe for slimy snail soup. Give everything a steer, steer well, and these are all the processes that we have to uh, arrange and make them well. Here is the answer. Start, find slimy snails in the garden, get a large cooking pot, put slimy snails into pot, add a dash of wingly worm, add a splash of slippery slug juice, Give everything a good stir, boil for five, 15 minutes and stir well, serve and enjoy. Now, you might put these instructions in a slightly different order. Uh, for example, add a spring of before this. But that's okay. Uh, some instructions must, must be in right order. Uh, for example, this will be before end. Other may be uh, different. Get put slimy snails into pot, add dishes, wind. You may think this in a different way. It uh, doesn't mean that the, your flowchart will be wrong. Uh, there are so many ways of solving algorithms. Now, how do computers make decisions? Let's see this. Computer make decisions in a similar way to humans and hedgehogs. Let's see how this works. How this works. Imagine that Flo wakes up one day and looks at up at the sky. Her thought process goes something like this. What is the weather like today? Is it sunny? If the answer is yes, then Flo will put her sunglasses. If the answer is no, then Flo will put her woolly hat. Let's see. We can write e this in more precise way. If it is sunny, then Flo will put, her, will put her sunglasses. Else, Flo will put on her woolly hat. Now we have then that we, we don't have any other decision here to make. This method of writing the steps of a process is, is called pseudocode. Remember this. Notice these the words that are in capitals. They are special pseudocode words. Pseudocode is a simple but structured way of writing algorithm. It is not a real programming language. Programmers often use pseudocode when they are designing computer programs. We can also show flow thinking by using a new flowchart symbol. This flowchart symbol is called decision box. Notice how it is it has one input, the top flow line, and two outputs here. We have one input and two outputs. The outputs are either yes or no. Is it sunny today? If yes, Flo will put her sunglasses. If no, Flo will put on her woolly hat. We have said the pseudocode here. If it is sunny, then Flo will put her sunglasses. Else, Flo will on her woolly hat. End of if. Which do you prefer, flowchart or pseudocode thing? And tell me, it is sunny today? The qu this question is called a condition. There are two possible outcomes, yes or no. It is sunny today? If yes, what happens? If no, what happens? Selection is when computers make decisions. A computer can be programmed to make a selection between two or more choices depending on the condition, on the question here. Now, challenge. 
Let's put your knowledge in action. You are a female, super strong, and you can fly. According to this flowchart, which superhero are you? You can fly. Can you fly? Yes, you can fly. Do you have super strength? Yes, you have super strength. Super strength. Uh, are you a female? Yes, you are a Wonder Woman then. This is the solution for this challenge. You are a Wonder Woman. You follow all these steps. Let's try that again. You are a female, you are super strong, you are super strong, but you can fly. According to this flowchart, which superhero are you? Can you fly? No, you can fly. Do you have super strength? Yes. Are you a female? Yes. Then you are she hook. The answer is she hook. This is the steps that you will follow. Okay, most computer systems requ require that users enter a username or a pa and the password. Sorry. What happens if a wrong username is entered? What happens if a wrong password is happened? What happens if both username and password are wrong? What happens if username and password are correct? You will draw a flowchart which could describe a computer login process. Write pseudocode which describes this same process. Here you will need help. I will leave it to you to do this. See it now, but um, think about this and do it on your own way. Key terms. So the code is a simple but structured way of writing algorithms. Selection is when computers make decisions. A computer can be programmed to make a selection between two or more choices, depending on the condition or on the question we have done. Computers can be programmed to make decisions. Computers can often work much faster than humans can. Do you think that computers will therefore one day replace humans and take over all of our jobs? Why? Why not? This will be commented in Edmodo. I will post it as a comment. Okay, uh, that's all for today. I know it's too much, but you have to see it, you have to read it, you have, if you need, replay this video many times, because these things that I have said today and you have seen today will be on the exam. Thank you, have a nice day.